Nacho, as most of you guys know me. Uh, we've had a lot of help building up this Humvee to get it where it is today. And I really wanted to show you guys some of the products that have been donated and some of the features on this vehicle. Um, the mission of this vehicle is to raise awareness and funds for the Police Unity Tour, as well as real-world practical you know, applications, emergency response, disaster response, things like that. Um, I'm really proud of where we've got it so far, so I'm going to take you guys on a tour of what we got. When we got this Humvee, it was a military surplus Humvee. And the first difference you'll notice right off the bat is that it is now black. That is thanks to a company out of Salt Lake City called Linex of Salt Lake City. They spray the entire exterior in the bed and it's got the look that I've always wanted. A little bit of texture, not too much, but I'm really digging it. external features you'll notice is our lighting. We have an amazing, amazing company that sponsored lighting for us. It is Nightstick Lighting. I'm going to put all the links for these companies down in the description. They donated this top bar, the two side pods, and the headlights with the halos. And we've got a few more pods that we haven't put on here yet. Super, super huge thank you to Nightstick. They have been incredible. Uh, that is owned by Doug, who is, he, he stopped on his way from Nevada up to, I think, Montana to drop this stuff off to me. So it was awesome to be able to meet this guy in person and to thank him. Because for night operations, the stock headlights weren't gonna cut it. So we got the big flood beam on top, the pods, headlights, some more pods, and I think we're gonna throw some pods on the back. Now we had to have somewhere to put these light bars, and you can't just mount it anywhere on a Humvee. There's nowhere to put it. So, Reed Muffler and Brake custom built this light bar mount for us. So we could mount that directly. We mount it directly above the windshield. There's two holes there for some rubber buffers that we're never gonna use because we don't plan to fold the the windshield down. So we mounted those on there. So when we got that light bar mount back, it was just solid steel. Didn't have any coating on it. We thought maybe we'd spray paint it, but that just wouldn't hold up to the abuse that we're gonna put this thing through. So we actually got it powder coated at Powder Custom Coatings, and it looks phenomenal. It is a satin black finish, and it just really looks good with the Line X. Next thing you'll notice that's not standard on surplus Humvees are these half doors. These are aluminum half doors that we got from Plan B Supply. They totally refurbish Humvees, build them up anything you want. They can make your dream Humvee. So we got these doors from them. We sent those also to Linex of Salt Lake City to get sprayed so they match the rest of the vehicle. It's nice to have some solid doors on there. Also, what we got from Plan B Supply is the back seat that is also not standard in surplus Humvees. And we'll take you inside to see that. Now, one of the companies that was willing to help us out was Road Pro, and they hooked us up with a tablet holder which is awesome to keep our GPS and anything else on a tablet that we want to see on there. And surplus Humvees do not have radios, believe it or not. So they hooked us up with a Bluetooth speaker. It actually lights up. It's got lights that respond to music and all that. It's really cool. As well as a flexible CB antenna. Now that CB antenna is used with this unit in Bearcat CB radio that was donated to us by James Holden, which was really cool. Not even a company that wanted to sponsor, just an individual that wanted to, to help us out. You'll also notice this switch panel here that was donated by Nightstick Lighting that donated the light bars and the headlights. And that thing is awesome. You can notice the readout here 
The Humvees are a 24 volt system, which complicates things a little bit when trying to run normal, normal electronics. But this controls all of our lighting on the vehicle. We also want to give a shout out to Alpha Graphics, who hooked us up with our, our decals here for all the events so people know who we're here representing. As well as the Ivy Cottage, who gave us the decals for our windshield. We also have some tactical seat covers that were donated by Four Wheel Parts out of Ogden, Utah. It's got all these pouches and stuff that we can put our radios in there, headsets, any gear that we need to stow away so it's not rattling around. One of the items that we do keep stowed away is a fire extinguisher donated by Blaze Defense System because you never know when you're gonna come across a car fire or heck, even if your own car catches on fire, it's good to be prepared for everything. So for those of you that have never ridden inside of a Humvee, they are noisy inside and out. When you reach decent speeds in these vehicles, you can't hear anything inside. So carrying on a conversation is nearly impossible without yelling and that gets old in a hurry. So we actually got some headsets donated from Opsman these are Earmore headsets, and they will connect to whatever kind of radio that you have via these push-to-talk adapters. And these plug right into our radios. We can talk, and these also work for on the shooting range. They actually work as shooting ear protection as well. So big thanks to them. We really needed these, and we appreciate the support. So riding in your standard Humvee gets hot. Uh, most standard Humvees do not have air conditioning. And so it gets pretty toasty inside. So the crew over at Expedition Gear hooked us up with these epic coolers to keep our drinks cool in there. And it has a really cool look to them. This is like one of the coolest coolers, coolest coolers, get it, I've ever seen. Even comes with a cutting board. How awesome is that? So we're gonna take this, fill it with ice, and throw it in the back of the Humvee. And they even gave us an extra one to hook up you guys. We're gonna do a raffle soon, so look for that. Thanks for joining us on our sponsor review, and we hope to see you guys next time. We'll show off some more products.